It's always a privilege for me to attend and of course speak in front of an august body of professionals like the Institute of Company Secretaries of India and uh, various other bodies. I found it a little odd when I was addressed as C.S. C. Parthasarthi. I, 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 it hasn't been, it has been a very, very long time, I guess, since I've been addressed so. I don't think I've addressed, I've been addressed on more than one occasion like this. I was also reflecting when I was sitting next to Mr. Lele and I realized that it's been 38 years since I've completed. 1980 was when I qualified. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. So all you guys are children. I was checking up my membership number as, a, as the ACS. I remember that I hadn't applied for quite some time that time, but even then it was 3207. And I'm told that you have 5,000 members today. So for all practical purposes, I'm kind of ancient as far as uh, all of you are concerned. The profession has grown and I have seen the profession grow and metaphorize itself into something completely different from what was envisaged earlier. We used to always, I used to always visualize and I also had the good fortune of uh, seeing a stereotype company secretary, somebody who assists the board or the executive director, this stereotype explains the agenda, explains uh, whatever are the discussions, makes notes of the discussions and then circulate the min circulates the minutes. For me, the reason why I pursued uh, company secretaryship when I was doing my chartered accountancy and law was only because I felt that should I work, should I be employed, we, I've got to look at the fastest route to interact with the board of directors of the company and I guess that this was the opportunity. That was the limited framework and that was the limited understanding at that point of time. It wasn't very difficult. Some people get lucky and I guess I was one of them to complete everything academically and quickly. But what I realized over a period of time was that we were actually sitting on a professional qualifications of something extraordinary in a country that was about to see a change and that was about to see a change which will uh, completely change, which will completely change the fabric of not only the living conditions in this country, but also the role of various professionals, including the profession of the company secretary. It's taken a while, but in the last 15 years, I guess, in the last 10 years, the role of a company secretary has changed completely. And um, I have had the good fortune of interacting with a number of uh, outstanding professionals, be it in finance or as company secretaries across the country. My job is something that entails and provides an opportunity to me. And I have realized that there is so much for a company secretary to do and there is so much, there is a great opportunity and a great exposure that is available for a company secretary either in practice or in employment. And. Um, I only also thought for myself that if I would have been born 25 years or 30 years later, then I would have probably had the great opportunity of exploiting the opportunities that were available rather than what I have already done. Not to forget the objective as a professional for me was always and even today the enthusiasm and energy is always there to look at what does this mean? What is this opportunity for a professional like me and my colleagues? And believe me, we at Carve don't lose even a second at trying to grab the opportunity and trying to ensure that we provide an appropriate service. I'm sure that all the learned speakers, we've got some people from the regulators, we've got very, very senior professionals and all of them will be speaking about how a company secretary can be a corporate saviour. 
and what is expected of a company secretary. Obviously, as, uh, as uh, countries progress, as there is economic development, there is also a necessity for enhanced compliance. There is also a necessity for enhanced transparency. There is also a necessity for enhanced accountability. And from where we were 38 years ago and where we are today, I can see that uh, there is a world of a difference. The profession has matured. I have matured. Professionals have matured in this country. And um, the regulator has been outstanding, absolutely outstanding. Not one regulator, but all the regulators that I have had the opportunity. I've been not, I'm not saying because the regulators are here, but, but the fact is that this country has metaphorized itself completely. And the role that we have to play is beyond just compliance. Compliance is most important, but like Mr. Lele said, I think today we expect the expectations and the opportunities that are available for a company secretary are far, far beyond that. The first and the most important thing, according to me, which a company secretary should equip himself or herself, is to understand the company's business. I have found time and again that a lot of us confine ourselves to issues pertaining to compliance, issues pertaining to company law, but we don't put that extra attempt to understand the nuances of the business because I think an understanding of the business, whether it is a practicing company secretary who has to understand the business of the client very well, or whether it is a company secretary in employment uh, being a KMP, I think it is absolutely necessary to understand the business. For me, Understanding my business, of course, was very important, but understanding the businesses of my clients was also very important. And believe me, the ability to understand and put yourself in the shoes of your CEO is something which is very, very important for a company secretary to survive and thrive. All of us, it is expected from all of us that we have a good and a thorough knowledge of corporate, laws, a good and a reasonably strong knowledge of securities laws. But what is more essential is the fact that we have to develop powers of inter interpretation. A lot of times we also need to understand the evolution of a particular law or a particular provision and therefore understand how it can be and therefore explain to people of how it can be interpreted. But please please appreciate the fact that our role as a KMP or our role as an advisor is not restricted to corporate laws or security laws. It is incumbent on us to have a basic understanding of all laws that pertain to a particular business, all laws pertaining, all regulations pertaining to a particular business that we are involved in or we are advising. And if you don't have the answers, at least find out where we can get the answers because you are the ears and the soul of the management and the company. And I guess that we have to play a much more comprehensive role. The other important <coughs> aspect which I have realized over a period of time, and this is something that I have tried to inculcate myself over the last yeah, 38 years is what I realize now. I've, I've been a CA also for the same uh, amount of time and it makes me feel very old. But that aside, the important thing is that you must build solid communication skills. That's been my endeavor right from the beginning because it's just not in understanding what has to be done, but communicating effectively and in a manner, <coughs> and in a manner that is useful that a company secretary should evolve. I also had the good fortune of not only interacting with a lot of company secretaries in the course of my uh, work, but also working with company secretaries in, in the businesses that we run at Carvey. I have tried to encourage all of them in every way possible. And of course, I'd like to believe that we have the best of the people working as company secretaries and I'm very, very proud of them. 
uh, we have two of them here and uh, they are professionals of, uh, uh, they are exemplary professionals. So whenever I think of the Institute of Company Secretaries, I think of uh, Rakesh and Shailija and people like that and I, uh, I start believing that, uh, uh, that, you know, these are really a people who are a gift to the corporate world. Please don't ask me for any increment or promotion now. The endeavor, therefore, has me to encourage them to get them to slowly participate in the business because after all, you got to attain a leadership position at some point of time or the other. And uh, over a period of time, we are succeeding. It takes time. We are succeeding. But what we have also ensured is to put the rigor of what it requires to run a business into the uh, minds of a company secretary. It's just not, you know, preparing the minutes that is enough. It is understanding the persons who participate in the meeting. It's like understanding and second guessing what is the information that they require. It's like understanding what is being done in the rest of the world and what can I do for my company or for my organization. You have to be intuitive and you have to be sensitive to the thoughts of the CEO and the board of directors. Having said that, you don't have to compromise, but you have to explain what the position of a regulation or a law is and also explain what could be the reason behind the particular regulation or a law. A company secretary is evolving and I guess in the next one decade a company secretary will evolve into something which is completely different from what we have seen even today. Technology is all pervasive. We have technology everywhere. And therefore, I think that we are in the last leg of spending time in filing returns, etc. All these are going to be automated. There would not be any specialized requirement. All you, ha all you require is a mobile to use. And it's simply going to be a, a matter of time before we will all have interfaces to, uh, with the MCA portal. There will be challenges which, which we've had, which a number of people have had with the MCA in the initial years, but this is typical of anything that you automate and develop. The first years are different and difficult because human mind is something that is inconceivable. There are so many things that you think of doing and frauds also arise due to the fact that the human mind is ingenious. As much of technology you build and as much of controls you build, there is always something else that the human mind thinks of. And therefore, to build something comprehensively with technology will take time. But the fortunate part is that suddenly we have a very, very active government. We also have a very active MCA. And while it's extremely difficult for professionals like us to, to keep pace with the number of uh, regulations and the changes that, that are taking place, please believe me, this is part of life, this is part of growth, this is part of the growth of this country. Today, we are the fastest growing economy in the world and uh, we are there. We are going to be reckoned as the third largest economy of the world in the, in, in the next few years. Obviously, the expectations from all of us who are part of the ecosystem, which has grown this, which has grown this country to that level, will have greater responsibilities. And our responsibilities are multiple because we are the guides. We are the guides as far as the governance of these organizations are concerned. We are probably the saviors. I wouldn't want to use such a, uh, such a term because uh, a savior reminds me of God and we are, not, we, are, we are not gods. But we have a role which is probably important. We have to take care of the governance. We have to help taking care of the governance. We have to help taking care of the business. We have to help taking care of uh, the various humans who run the business. I think that the role of a company secretary is just starting to evolve. The opportunities ahead of us are tremendous. 
My regret, like I have already said, is that I should have been born 25 or 30 years later. If I was born 30 years later, I would have used all these opportunities. I, uh, I would, I would uh, <coughs> implore on all the younger members here to look at the great opportunities that are available with us, equip yourself, subject yourself to continuous learning. Of course, working hard is a given. If you don't slog, you don't see any results. And of course, the most important thing in life is perseverance. Perseverance is absolutely important. You never get, uh, get anything right the first time you do it. And therefore, you've got to keep trying to do it again and again. I have deliberately kept away from the specific provisions where a company secretary, because that is what will be discussed in the, uh, uh, in the, in the next two days. But I'd like to take this opportunity to wish the profession of the company secretaries a great future, which they have. And I'd also like to compliment the Southern India Regional Council for holding this seminar with such a fantastic theme. I believe that this is the beginning of a great journey for all of us. And I'm sure that uh, when I come and attend this 50 years after qualification, I hope so, I'll be there. I really hope to see the company secretaries being revered and the company secretaries effectively contributing to the growth of this nation. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.